Good morning, my name is Ann Carpenter with the Brooks Free Library um, Youth Services Department and I'm here to talk about some of the great things that the library has to offer as we come into the holiday season. Um, first up this Saturday, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, November 29th, we have a mug cake program for kids. Um, it's a great concept where you can make an individual portion size cake just in one in a coffee mug or a small bowl in the microwave in a couple of seconds. It seems sort of like magic to me, but that's the magic of chemistry and the interactions of uh, all the different ways to cook and new inventions and things. So if you, ha if you have a child in your life that would be interested in that, um, definitely come on down. There's no registration required. Um, if you have any food allergies, you probably want to contact us ahead of time to make sure that there's not going to be anything that you're going to react to. And you can do that by contacting the library at 508-430-7562 or emailing me at acarpenter at clamsnet.org, um, which you can also get on our website, brooksfreelibrary.org. Um, coming into the December holiday season, we have a number of exciting programs going on. On December 6th, um, we are partnering with the Harwich Chamber of Commerce and Cape Destinations to bring you uh, the first annual Harwich Polar Express event, which is going to be very exciting. We've got um, the families can go to the Chamber of Commerce and ride a trolley at night from the chamber over to the library. And then once they get to the library, Santa Claus will be there reading the story, the classic story, Polar Express, to the children. And then we're going to go down and do a quick activity decorating some cookies and then they can take the trolley back to the chamber singing carols and doing all sorts of holiday cheer fun. Um, because we are partnering with the Chamber of Commerce and Cape Destinations to raise money for scholarships, there is a fee for that, which is $5 per person. And you can make reservations, and you definitely need a reservation, and they're going fast. So if it sounds something, something you're interested in, um, get on that right away by calling the Harwich Chamber of Commerce, um, the information of which is, can be found on our website, brooksfreelibrary.org, or on the Harwich Chamber of Commerce's website, harwichcc.com. The um, and if you're excited about Santa but you want to wait for another day, Santa is going to be coming to visit the library on December 20th at 1 o'clock. On that day he will be doing sit on your lap talks with the students. So um, you get as much time as your student needs to sit on Santa's lap and tell him all about what he or she wants for Christmas and all the ways that they've been good all year long which is fabulous. Um, and he will be arriving on a fire truck at 1 o'clock on Saturday, December 20th. Um, we'll start handing out tickets, free tickets, to st for a place in line at 12.30. So again, that's Saturday, December 20th. Um, also, as we move into the holiday season, we have a lot of people who are looking to give gifts to grandchildren and children and aunts and nephews, nieces, all sorts of different things. We at the library are love to give book recommendations. So we'll have some lists ready for just general, you know, I'm looking for an eight to 10 year old boy, what might they be interested in? But we also love to give specific recommendations. So if you wanna come into the library and have a conversation with us, you know, I have a student in my life that is really into dinosaurs and rocket ships and this, what would you recommend that they read? We would love to give you a whole series of recommendations that are things that you could buy for them so you can get an individualized um, gift in, of that nature. Also, as we come into the holiday season, both, both, both Thanksgiving and Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all the other celebratory things, one of the things that we see a lot is families getting together in places where they're not usually there or with family members that they're not there. And I know for me personally, one of the great ways to interact with a lot of relatives that you don't necessarily see very often and often don't have a lot of children in their lives all year long is through games. And I would like to remind everyone that the library circulates board games. I brought a couple with me today just to show you. Um, so just like you can check a book out of the library, you can come into the library and check the game out. They go out for two weeks, just like a regular book. Um, we try to get ones that don't have too many pieces to them or so you don't have to worry too much about doing them. And then you can just check them out and play them at home, which is great because 
Um, it gives gives the kids something to do. It can be some of them are crazy wild party games. You know, like if you've ever played Cranium, you know it's not really a quiet game, so it can really get the mood up. Or we have some other smaller, more relaxed games that if um, you're looking for something to sort of bring the mood down and get you know when there's 12 cousins in the house and you're, <laughs> you need it, need it to be a little bit quieter, sometimes a board game can really work for you. We have a range of games from games that are appropriate for two or three year olds all the way up to games that are intended for adults. So there's gonna be something for everybody. Um, we have some single player games, so if you have a, a child that really wants to just go off in the corner and do something on their own, there's them, those games. And we also have party games, so if you have a big party and you want something, um, sort of occupy everybody in the room, we also have those as well. And it's something that a lot of people don't realize we have, so I wanted to advertise that out and let people know about it. Um, so I guess that's all that I have for the moment, and we'll hope to see you at the Brooks Free Library in Harwich. Again, if you need to contact us, the phone number is 508-430-7562. And I'm the Youth Services Librarian, and you can contact me at acarpenter at clamsnet.org.